back to the weather situation. Not much of one around here. Not like what they're dealing with down in the Gulf of Mexico. More on that in a minute with TJ. But look behind us, Newport Harbor. It's that time of year. We're getting into October. Fewer and fewer boats out in that harbor. I don't like it, but yeah, quite a few empty moorings yeah, a lot right of them. there. I know you can see them all over here and here and here. Oh, nothing you can do about it. No, that time of year. It sure is. Uh, we are looking at, uh, you know, some quiet conditions out there in terms of uh, rainfall and just cloudy skies there in Newport. But here's Helene and now a Category 2 storm with winds of 100 miles an hour. We've been monitoring the path of this Hurricane Hunter aircraft. It's already made one path through the center. It's actually on its second trip right into the center of circulation, the eye of the hurricane where uh, things are usually a, a little bit calmer and that's probably what they're experiencing right now but it's because of the data that they've uh, obtained that the system was upgraded to a category two storm and it intensified because of the very warm water here in the Gulf of Mexico temperatures of the uh, of the ocean about 86 degrees right now we are expecting Helene to form into a category three storm as it works its way north northeastward making landfall somewhere around the Gold Gold Coast to uh, the Big Bend of Florida and right in this area here. We're expecting a storm surge of 10 to 20 feet tonight when it makes landfall. Winds of 110 to perhaps 130 miles an hour. It could be briefly a Category 4 storm. Rainfall of 6 to 12 inches in the panhandle of Florida and there could be some isolated tornadoes across the northern half of Florida, especially on the right-hand side of that hurricane path. So a catastrophic situation down there in Florida. 10 to 20 foot storm surge. Uh, live radar. We are looking at some showers working across the area. We've got this one lonely shower working right across Narragansett Town Beach. Let's get a check in on our camera and you can see we've got a couple of raindrops on the lens. Very light rain pushing on through. Here's Newport looking at cloudy gray skies. Temperature 62 wind from the east southeast at six miles an hour. We're in the upper 50s in northwest Rhode Island. Low 60s down near the south coast. Threat tracker for today. We're in green. There's just some nuisance showers that will be coming on through. Tomorrow, Saturday, look dry. A lot of rain to our north, and there's a lot of rain off to our south and west. Those are the showers that will be coming on through a little bit later today as these fronts continue to work their way into the northeast. So let's take a look at it with the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. couple of showers possible this morning. Better chance for showers as we head through the afternoon and maybe a bit of a break, and then we're looking Looking at some more showers, maybe a thunderstorm tonight, and this should be all out of here by tomorrow morning, and then we'll get some partial sun. That's reflected in the seven day forecast. We're looking at temperatures tomorrow, about 74 degrees. Now, on Saturday and Sunday, there likely will be some extra clouds around, likely from you know, pieces of Helene. We're not getting a direct impact, but extra clouds Saturday from that. Sunday, we're dry, 70 degrees with sunshine, staying dry through Tuesday, some showers.